Hi everyone. We are expecting a triple digit heat wave here in Southern California this week. It is going to be hot. So I've got the garden covered in shade cloth to protect the veggies from the heat. Now, if you're one of those people who love growing your own fresh, tasty salads like I do, but struggle growing lettuce in the heat, you definitely want to stay tuned to this video because I'm going to share with you how to plant four heat tolerant greens so that you can still grow and eat your own fresh, tasty salads all summer long. I like to cover my vegetables with shade cloth when the temperatures get over 90 degrees. It really helps protect the tomato, pepper, and other vegetable flowers from drying up and dropping off. So if you live in a hot climate like I do here in Southern California, shade cloth is a lifesaver. Before we plant our heat tolerant greens, I just want to show you real quick what happens to lettuce in the heat. Lettuce is a cool weather vegetable, which means it grows best in temperatures under 75 degrees. When the temperatures get much hotter than that, lettuce starts to bolt, which means it shoots up that tall stalk. The leaves become bitter, really not good for eating anymore, and eventually it will grow flowers here on top. Once the flowers dry, you can collect the seeds and plant them again. So now that it's getting warm, it's definitely time to get those heat tolerant greens planted. The first two heat tolerant greens we're gonna to plant today are kale and chard. So here I have the red Russian kale and the red chard growing here in a Cali Kim five gallon smart pots. The cool thing about kale and chard is they are super, super hardy greens. We've been harvesting off these for several months. The plants started kind of looking a little bit raggy taggy, got some bug damage. So I clipped them off, as you can see right here, you can just cut them off right at the base and they grow back. Here it's growing fresh new leaves. I probably cut these about two weeks ago. So we're gonna get some planted here in a Nether Calicum five gallon smart pots, do a quick refresh of the garden soil and then plant some seeds. When you're growing in a container that you've already grown in before, there's no need to dump out all of the potty mix. You can just refresh it, add some extra nutrients, and you are good to go. Now, I already have this container filled with good dirt potty mix. That's my favorite um, potting mix to grow in. You don't want to use your garden soil. It's just too heavy, it gets too compacted, and it doesn't work well in containers. But all I'm going to do is add a couple more inches of fresh good dirt mix to the top. Now, I love growing with good dirt because not only is it organic, but it retains water like you've never seen. It's made from sustainably harvested peat moss and has tons of good organic nutrients. So I'm just gonna fill my container up here with some fresh potting mix and that way I'm making good use of my resources. Now the great thing about Good Dirt too is that it doesn't get compacted. It stays nice and light and fluffy and you can grow in it time after time. Now I'm also going to add some of the Vermisteria worm castings, a really good organic soil amendment as well. You guys know how good worms are for your garden. Well, this is worm poop, so it's going to really help my greens grow nice and healthy, so I have lots and lots of salads. So all I'm going to do now is, and you can see I had drip irrigation in here. I just took that out while I added my fresh potting mix. I'm going to wet it down. So I always like to grow in a pre-moistened soil so the seeds have the moisture they need to get off to a good start. So I'm just going to wet it down and then quickly mix it in. So now it's time to plant our heat tolerant greens. The first two, kale and chard. We're going to plant two varieties of kale today. So delicious and tasty. The red Russian kale is a more milder variety. Blue Scotch curled kale is absolutely beautiful and so tasty. And remember the red chard. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? So we're planting seeds for my new heat tolerant salad in a container kit. It comes with everything you need to plant your heat tolerant greens, this Cali Kim five gallon smart pots, the seeds, five varieties in that packet, and my book, Organic Gardening for Everyone, tons of garden tips in there. And you can grab that over at calicumgardeninhome.com. So let's first get our red Russian kale seeds planted. Now I like to plant quite a few seeds in my containers. I like the nice full look and then you can always go back and thin out seeds later if you think it looks too crowded. But first we're gonna pop in our red Russian kale seeds. This is so easy to do, guys. Just wanna pour some seeds into your hand. And then I like to plant right along the drip emitter hose. If you're not using drip, if you're not using drip irrigation, you don't have to worry about that. But I usually plant two or three seeds right along the drip emitters. So we're gonna plant our red Russian kale in three spots. It's gonna look so beautiful in this container. Those red stems are absolutely gorgeous. And then we'll plant our blue scotch curled kale in about three spots. We're gonna have a nice full container. 
and I do like to plant extra seeds just so I have a really good germination rate. And then in the middle, it's going to be so pretty, we're going to plant our red chard. The red chard seeds are like pods. They have several different seeds in each pod. So I'm just going to pop two seeds in the middle of my smart pots here. So it'll grow several different stems from each seed pod. I'm just going to push them into the soil. And planting seeds in containers is so easy. I'm just going to give them a little bit of a sprinkle with soil just to cover them up. You can also plant these seeds right in your garden beds if you want to. But the great thing about containers is you can move them around into the sun and into the shade, whatever your needs happen to be, whatever the temperature is, or put them right by your back door for easy access to your greens. We've got our first two heat tolerant greens planted, our kale and our chard. The third heat tolerant green is New Zealand spinach. Now New Zealand spinach tastes very similar to regular spinach, but regular spinach does not tolerate the heat. It's a cool weather vegetable. New Zealand spinach on the other hand tolerates the heat really well. It's a large seed pod and you can soak these seeds overnight for quicker germination or start them from seed indoors on a heat mat for quicker germination as well. Hang in there. Sometimes these seeds take a couple of weeks to germinate. They're a trailing type of spinach. So I'm going to plant them on the edge of the container here. Just poke the seeds into the soil, cover them up. This container is going to be so beautiful, not only edible, but also ornamental. So really great for your patio or balcony. It'll be really pretty. You're going to so enjoy growing your heat tolerant greens. So just pop a couple in there. They'll trail over the sides. Give our container a little sprinkle of water and we are good to go. So far we have three different types of heat tolerant greens planted. Kale, chard, and New Zealand spinach. The fourth type of heat tolerant green we're going to plant today is romaine lettuce. Now while romaine lettuce is not as heat tolerant as kale, chard, and New Zealand spinach, it definitely is one of the more heat tolerant varieties of lettuce. Today we're going to plant the Paris Island Cause Romaine Lettuce from the Heat Tolerant Green Seed Collection. And we're going to plant it in a separate Cali Kim 5 gallon Smart Pots. And the reason for that is it's usually heat tolerant up to about 80 degrees. So planting it in a separate container allows us to move it into the shade as the weather heats up, cover it with shade cloth, or even move it indoors and pop it under a grow light. Lettuce is so, so easy to plant, you guys. I like to plant some lettuce seeds every couple of weeks during the summer. You just sprinkle seeds over the top of the soil. I think the flies are bugging Mac out here. <laughs> he's either trying to catch the lizards when he's out here or snapping at the flies. So you just sprinkle the seeds over the top of your container. And lettuce needs light to germinate, so you don't even have to cover it. You just press the seeds down Give them a little bit of sprinkle of water and you are good to go. Now you definitely want to keep your soil nice and moist while your seeds are germinating. In hot temperatures of say 80 or 90 or even higher, you're going to see your kale and chard germinate very, very quickly, probably within a week or so. So I'm going to put my container of kale and chard and New Zealand spinach under my shade cloth area just to protect it from the super hot temperatures we're gonna have this week. And as far as my lettuce container, lettuce does not germinate well in temperatures over 80 degrees. So I am gonna bring it inside during this heat wave, pop it under a grow light, and I'll probably see it germinate probably within three to five days. And once the temperatures cool off, I'll bring it back outside again. Well, there you have it, four heat tolerant greens so that you can have your fresh tasty salads even in the heat. Head over to CaliKimGardenAndHome.com, grab your heat tolerant salad in a container kit, get some seeds planted, and remember most of these varieties are also cold tolerant, will take a frost, so in most areas it's not too late to plant seeds. Well, comment below, let me know what salad greens you're growing, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for joining me in the garden today, we'll see you on the next video.